Hi, we are now visiting Boys and Girls Club of Santa Barbara and with me is Executive Director Carolyn Brown. How are you, Carolyn? I'm fantastic and welcome to the Boys and Girls Club. Thank you. This club looks amazing. There are people and kids everywhere having fun, so I would like to go and explore. But first, I would like to hear more about the mission of the club. Sure. Our mission is basically to serve as many kids as we can, ages 6 to 18. We want to give them a safe environment to come to. This is a facility-based organization, so we have uh, some place they can actually come to every day. And we want to keep them off the streets, out of trouble, and give them good, viable programs to help them become the best citizens that they can and give them a step up in life. Great. When was it founded? The club was founded in 1938. It started out as the McKinley Boys and Girls Club over on the west side, and then we moved here in 1948. It became Boys and Girls Clubs of uh, Santa Barbara in 1986, and we have been here ever since, and this is our 71st anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. So let's go and explore. Okay. Well, we are now in one of the rooms, which seems to be the computer room, right? Yes. This is our computer room, and we're open Monday through Friday, 2 to 7 p.m., and sometimes on Saturdays. The club is open Saturday from 10 to 2. And we do a lot of programs in here. We have uh, club tech where we teach the kids various aspects of computer, the Internet, and um, we also do a lot of educational programs in here. The kids will often come in here right after school and do their homework. Mm -hmm. A lot of these kids do not have computers at home, so this really helps them. They can come here come after school, do their research projects, their reports. We have a special time every day for teens only so they can do their projects and, and research reports without the younger kids around. So we have a lot of use in here. I see, and a lot of programs. And I would like to talk more about those programs that you were sure. just briefly mentioning. I know you have five different categories. And why don't we start with one of them, which is the Character and Leadership Development Program. Right, the Character and Leadership Program involves different programs we have. Like One is Torch Club, and that's for kids 11 to 13. Mm -hmm. And they go out and they do things like they do community beautification. They do things to help the club, like fundraisers and clean up the club. And sometimes they mentor the younger kids. So what we're trying to teach them through this particular program is how to volunteer, how to become part of your community, to bond with the community. And we always find if kids are bonding with the community and they're volunteering and being out there, they're not going to hurt the community. They're going to want to take care of it instead. Mm -hmm. Now, let's move around and let's explore more of your programs okay. as well. So. All right. We are now in another of the rooms, which is? This is our library and our slash education center. And this is where uh, we have a lot of kids, and they come in right after school, and they'll come in and do their homework. Uh, our new education coordinator, Ann Vieira, has set up a really great program. If they come in and do their homework, they get jewels. If they answer trivia questions, they get jewels. Then every few days, they get to take their jewels, and they get to redeem their jewels for prizes, toys, uh, just different foods and all kinds of fun stuff that they want, jewelry, things like that. That sounds very yeah. good and interesting. Now, I would like to continue talking about the programs and I would like to cover now the educational and career program. Can you tell me more about that? Sure, well, of course, our Power Hour program in our library is our main educational program, which also extends into the computer room. So they do homework and projects in both areas. Our career program, we have a, a program called Junior Staff and the kids that are usually around 11 and up can work around the club. We train them. They have to apply for a job, they have to <laughs> fill out the application, and we teach them how to do that. And then they work around the club and they get points and they can redeem their points either in the club, uh, the kids cafe for food, which they love, or they can, some, sometimes we give them actual money. That leads into our teen program called Career Launch. And we are literally trying to set these kids up for real jobs in the real world. And so we teach them how to write resumes, how to do interviews. They get a lot of experience in the club working. And so when they go to apply for a job, they get letters of recommendation from us, which a lot of kids don't at age 16. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to uh, truly get them ready for the workforce. We teach them all about responsibility, being on time, checking in, uh, you know, all the things to be a good worker. Excellent. Yeah. Let's continue. Okay. 
Okay, we are now in another room, which is the art room, my favorite. <laughs> it, I always like art. It's a lot of kids' favorite, too. Uh, we, we have this open pretty much five days a week, and we have um, a very extensive art program. We have two wonderful ceramic teachers that come in um, three days a week, and they teach ceramics. Some of the kids have never touched clay before or wheel or anything, and they've just produced fabulous pieces now. We do painting and pencil work and chalk and all the different mediums. Our arts includes performing arts, so we also have a, a fabulous dance room. We have a well-rounded program in arts. We are going to talk now about another program, which is the life and health skills that they can get through this program. Right. We have um, quite a kitchen here. Just last summer, we got a grant from the State of California Summer Food Program, and we are able to give free lunches, completely nutritional free lunches, to every kid that comes here during summer. And then in the afternoon, they get a free snack as well. During the school year, we give them a free snack every day at 3 o'clock, and it's nutritional. We have to follow the guidelines, which we want to do. And um, we also have our kitchen manager is starting up a new class for the teenagers called Teen Cuisine. And he's going to teach them how to cook, you know, bake and cook and just a variety of different things, but with nutrition in mind. Well, that's excellent. Why don't we keep exploring your beautiful location here at the Santa Barbara Boys and Girls Club and go to the gym? All right. Okay, next to us is the gym, and we're going to talk about the fifth program, which is the Sports, Fitness, and Recreation Program. Tell me more about this. Right, our sports program is huge here. We play soccer. We have basketball from January to March, and we do. Uh, we partner with YFL Football, and they, they come out and use our um, field in the back. We've got a weight room, a fabulous weight room. We have a volunteer fitness expert that comes in and uh, teaches the kids uh, sit-ups, push-ups, you know, and teaches them about their personal best and how to be fit. And it's just all about fitness and being healthy. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for all that information. And finally, can you leave us with uh, your website and contact phone in case people would like to apply? Sure. Um, it's the Boys and Girls Club of Santa Barbara. The website is www.boysgirls.org. The telephone number is 805-962-962. Two three eight two, and we encourage everybody to come down and take a tour of our club. You'll love it. Well, thank you, Caroline, for all that information, and I wish the best for you and thank all you. these kids and your organization. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks for being here. For more information on the nonprofit spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.